Okay, and for the last page on this packet, okay, so they're giving you a table again. Um, so they've got from zero to 16, and they're doing the absolute value of velocity, so speed again. And they want the four intervals, and they want you to do left where you want some. Okay, so what I do is you count four intervals. So zero to four would be one, two, three, four. Okay, now in this time it works out nice. They're all four apart. Okay, so you're gonna have fours for each of these, okay? And then they want you to use the left, so you're just going to, between the two, you choose the left number. So from zero to four, the left one's 12. Four to eight, the left one's 20. Eight to 12, it's gonna be positive eight for this problem, but negative eight up here. And then 12 to 16, you're gonna choose positive 12. All right, and then you just multiply the heights. All right, down here, they're saying go zero to 24, f of x, and they want three subintervals, and it's a right ring on sum. Okay, so what I do is there's go to zero to 24, divided by three would be eight, okay? So each interval is going to be eight wide, okay? And we don't know what the function is, so you just have to say f of zero, f of eight, etc. And they want you to use the right one, so from zero to eight, the right height would be f of eight. From 8 to 16, the right height would be f of 16, and from 16 to 24, the right height would be f of 24, which is what you write up here. Okay, and then this last part's this whole check your understanding, which we were in class all together, I'd make you all do, but for right now, you know, just let me know if you have any questions on anything, and keep messaging me on Remind or email. And I will probably post either another video tonight, or I'll have it for you tomorrow morning. Alright, good luck, keep working.